President of the United States, and will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. So what do we make of it? President Trump. Who would have thought of it four years ago when this crazy, crazy human being said for the first time that he was gonna run? Do we think four years later we'd be here? Probably not, but why are we surprised? That's one thing that I've noticed everyone going, I can't believe Donald Trump got in, I can't believe... Well, you have to believe it. There's a population of people in America who are easily swayed but these people would have been easily swayed by a Democratic candidate who came along and just goes, well, I'm going to change things from Obama. Instead, Hillary Clinton decided to keep things, try and keep things the way they were. That's why she lost, not because Trump is a better candidate, because he's probably not. She would most certainly make a better president than he does, but she wanted to keep the things the same way. Donald Trump changed, wanted to change things up, and that played into so many people's hands. Even people who were supporters of Obama, they were probably looking for change. All Hillary had to say was, yeah, we'll have a review of like Obamacare and other issues. We'll change things and things that are wrong in the country, we'll change them. But instead she was basically saying, things are going well. We're not going to change up too much. Whereas Donald Trump came along and goes, oh, we're going to build a wall and Obamacare is gone and this is gone and that is gone. And that played into so many hands. So yeah. Four years ago, I didn't think we'd be here either. Two years ago, I'm not gonna lie, I thought President Trump was gonna come along. And today, it's become a reality, and I'm kinda thinking to myself, well, fuck you, America. Because you don't know the impact that this has worldwide, but yet, your country is the only one who gets to decide this. The leader of the free world. You know, the majority of the world, or the rest of the world, is the free world. And now we have to deal with your problem that you created. So yeah. I'm going to go into this with an open mind. There's not much else I can do. A lot of Americans aren't going into this with an open mind. And let's just hope that you can. And if you're not going to go in with an open mind, you the people can make a difference. Not anything else. The people of America can make a difference. In 2018, there is the midterm elections, and that's when it's expected that the Republicans will take over completely. If you don't like the way things are going with Donald Trump, do not vote in the Republicans. Do not do it, because they're just going to back everything he says. And if it's been a bad start to his campaign, or if it's halfway through, or whatever the midterms is, if it's been a bad start to it, you have the power to change that. So go and change it. Don't stick and listen to this guy and think he's going to change things, because you'll know by then. You'll have seen him. Use your head, America. And don't get me wrong, there's maybe a lot of things Trump could be good at. But I just think the guy doesn't know what he's in for. I think he could be in a lot of trouble about six months in when he realizes how much pressure this job actually entails and how much of a cool head you have and you have to have and you can't just do things based on your heart and do things that you think are the right idea. You have to have a cool head, you have to make the right decisions for the people of America, not just for you, for the people of America. So yeah, Donald Trump's the president for the next four years. Let's get used to that. Let's just hope he doesn't do some of the things he's promised because that will hurt the whole entire world, not just America. So, thanks for this, America. <laughs> we have to put up with it as well as you for the next four years. And you, the people, are the only ones who can make a change. So if you want to, please do. But don't come along and complain four years' time that things are way worse than they were four years ago. You were the ones who wanted this change. Now try and push that change forward. Thank you to President Obama. You've done a stellar job for the last eight years. And that's just not for the American people. You have made the world a lot better place. You've shown humility and class as a president. You helped millions and millions of people worldwide. And you inspired a generation of people, like myself, to take part in their community and want to be a part of the world instead of sitting back and letting others do it. Now there's a sense of place in my generation and I think it's because we had such a man who was leader of the free world, who was so down to earth, 
and who was such a man of the people. And all I can say is thank you, President Obama. This little popper is Penny. Oh, good girl. So yeah, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter or Facebook or however you want to reach me. Have you any hope for the next four years with President Trump? And are you gonna go into it with an open mind like I am? This will be the last video for a couple of days as there was a bit of a family emergency. But hopefully I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, see you soon. And giving it back to you, the people. And we give it back to you, the people.